welcome back to maypole farm and it is a very atmospheric looking november um mainly this episode we are going to be skipping through until february i think um yeah so i'm just going to show you some of the highlights and then once we get to february we're going to be doing a bit of field work but first we need to give the cows some feed so just grabbing some silage you will notice that at the moment this is has converted as whole crop silage so the bales i think have just finished fermenting um and for some reason it's turned to whole crop silage it's just, you know adding maize plus into an existing save so part way through this i do actually go in and uh, if you go into the items.xml file it will list all your bales and i just did a replace of silage with grass fermented and that gave me grass silage bales which is what they are so yeah um it's a little bit dark because we have relight running on here but you know november morning in the uk it's going to be a bit dark uh, yeah a bit more silage needed and really getting used to um i find with each save with maize plus you have to find how your feeding is going to work for whatever animals you're using and how you want to do it so on here at least for the first year we're going to be doing uh loose bale or individual bales and components for the feeding i'm not going to go straight in tmr and that means balancing what we put in sometimes there'll be a bit too much of something sometimes there won't be enough of something it's part of the process i'm not sure how many farmers would do it this way but i, I just want to do something different yeah as i've said before these cows won't be grazing obviously because they live on concrete um but we should be good with that we could do with some more moisture food and some more power food um so i recorded this video probably a week ago but just haven't got around to doing the commentary so i'm relying on my very scrappy notes which say about three things and uh we'll just see how things crop up as they go so we do have the legal ruby already so we can get some sugar beets in and i think then we're probably going to have to go and buy something for power food but first it looks like we're going to blow some straw in as i said i recorded and edited this so long ago that um i've got better at making notes but not brilliant um fans of maze plus but well, if you're watching this you probably are unless you're a regular to the channel from before maze plus released um we are working on an update for maze plus um it's not huge not so many changes as last time um i'm currently trying to work out the pricing for stuff to fit it in um, we've repriced a bunch of stuff and it makes it kind of tricky um so there are going to be some compromises in there obviously it ba it's to basically save people having to go and copy in the fill types.xml yes i am crashing a lot this morning um so there'll be a set of pricing in there it may not be perfect for how you want to play um there are some trades you know you can make it so that um you can't make you know you can have it so that if you grow or produce things you get a good price for them um but that possibly means that if you buy things in bulk or from the shop you can just make money from them or you can have it so if you buy things from the shop you can't make money from them but that makes it harder for you to make money selling your own products so yeah that's the balance that i'm battling with this morning by the time you see this it will be done um yeah i ignore the straw bale um yeah i'll have made a choice and then it'll be down to uh pool and bgo to decide if they're happy with what i've gone with um, it's really based on the field types xml file that's up on the maze plus discord um, but i'm tweaking a few things because we've changed some prices for things in the shop uh, not sure when that's going to be available because we're not rushing this one um, yeah and there's going to be no currently no planned english stream this week um the last few weeks have been very very busy for everyone in the team supporting the release of maze plus and you know, my life's been really busy on top of that with work so we are taking a week's break from i think paul's taking a complete week's break from streaming um 
I'm still going to be doing videos because I enjoy that. Um, it's probably going to be more actually because I'm really ahead on my recording. Oh, this is not going well. Um, yeah, I've got today's video is a really short tutorial. Today for me, yesterday for you, was, is a really short tutorial video, which I just need to edit and render, which will take a few minutes. I've got three Let's Play videos recorded, which is kind of rare for me. So looking pretty good. Um, I don't have many tutorials left for Maze Plus, so we might go back to some normal tutorial stuff next week, unless people have ideas for things or things crop up. Um, I've not had a look at pumps and hoses yet. Really need to. Had planned to this weekend, but just didn't get around to it. Um, I have lots of bailing contracts still and some harvesting ones, and I could have spent a lot of time doing contracts um, before jumping ahead through the winter, but didn't particularly want to want to progress. Um, yeah, I really need to have a look at pumps and hoses. I don't know whether I should do like a tutorial guide kind of video for that. There are so many out there. Um, and um, I could do what I've done with a lot of other things like that and look at the finances of the BGA. I want to have a look still. Now they've reworked the modular BGA and we've got the planet one as well. I want to go through all those again and redo the finances on those because they've sped them up a lot, I think. Um, but annoyingly, I, uh, when I had a clear out of YouTube related stuff, I deleted the monster spreadsheet I had that did all of the calculations for that. So I'm going to have to remake it, which is a little bit annoying. But it's not the end of the world. It's not like I hate doing stuff in spreadsheets. So, yeah. So, yeah, give me give me some thoughts, you know. Is it worth me doing anything tutorial-wise on pumps and hoses? I plan to add it. It's, it's enabled on both of my Let's Plays. Adding them is more likely to see more of it because we're not financially constrained. Um, here, we might do some. Um, we're going to do some slurry spreading in the spring. But you will have seen from the thumbnail that we use a standard slurry tank at the moment. Because I might not have had pumps and hoses enabled at the point I recorded this. So the reason I didn't have it enabled is I was very kindly donated a copy of pumps and hoses. Um, but I was worried about installing it on my old laptop and then not being able to use it on the new one. I have been assured by my... Uh, Alien Guru, that that is absolutely fine. And well, as long as I'm not online with both copies at the same time, I should be good. And in fact, I'll probably uninstall it from this laptop when I have um, the new one back. Newer one back, less old one back. So yeah, we do have pumps and hoses enabled. And uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to do a kind of run through what's in pumps and hoses and how it works. I'm more interested in the maths of it and the finances. Um, I know at the moment it doesn't really, it's not particularly well integrated with Maze Plus with all the different silage types that is coming, hopefully. Um, it's planned that it will come. It was intentional that we didn't try to do that for the release week, um, just so that there were less things that were going wrong everywhere with you know combining two fairly complicated mods. That seemed like a bad idea. So yeah, we didn't, or yeah, the uh, the clever guys who do the clever stuff with most plus didn't. I make videos and talk about it and test it. Got much more involved in the testing in the last couple of weeks, um, which kind of suits my background. So yeah, been cool to be involved in that. Time to do some shopping. So I think we are going to be buying some big bags of grain mix. Um, which is kind of expensive, but you know, we do have the option and I am, um, you'll see later on that I place it down. There's the bulk buy point in the, um, in Maze Plus. And I do end up placing that down on the map because it is significantly cheaper. Um, we can't afford to be spending this much money on feed. Um, this is going to get cheaper in the update to Maze Plus, so that is a bonus. Um, the big bag stuff is, and the palleted stuff is going to be a bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, buying it in bulk is definitely a good option. Um, that is more dependent on the price that you set in the filltypes.xml. I've set a price for grain mix in there that basically means if you make it yourself, you can make a little bit of a profit selling it um, versus just selling the oats, wheat, and barley. 
Um, but it does make it a little bit cheaper buying it in bulk. But I think that's okay. You know, I think that's okay. Uh, because you're going to get through quite a lot of it. There are other options, which I'm probably not going to pursue on here. I don't think. Okay, I'm going to stick with buying in bulk. Um, if you install the farm supply pack, uh, there are... I think there's kind of there's definitely soybean pellets in pallets in there which are a thousand pounds dollars or euros for five thousand liters which is obviously really cheap um yeah you, you probably got to look at that and you, know, you could use that to just print money i guess if you were that way inclined um you know because you could buy them at 200 pounds per thousand liters roughly and sell them at depending on your economy setting, £2,000 per thousand litres. So, you know, you could do that if you were that way inclined, but if you're going to do that, if you're on PC, just press F12 and add money. Um, but what I'm thinking is it's obviously a, a lot, the, the kind of the waste product, soybeans are so really good for feeding. So, yeah, I'm using that on Frolink, which is the uh, Let's Play series for the patron members. So, yeah. Um, and in fact, at this point, we will say, you know, we will wait because I'm going to be doing something by the looks of it. Uh, uh, so we've been doing some plowing contracts, just bringing in a bit of cash to hopefully see us through the winter. Um, yeah, I am going to say thank you to the YouTube channel members and the patrons. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. It really helps out. But, uh, Helping with potential upgrades that I am looking at, which I keep mentioning. And so yeah, I've added in the Doika buy point. I did have to, um, I said it so we own this plot of land. We're not going to use it for anything other than the fact that I wanted to place the Doika buy point. And it made sense to me that this is the, the grain mill and the cereal factory. So having a buy point, which is a lot of grain based products there made sense. Um, but yeah, we're not going to do anything with this land. It was purely so that I could place this and we are going to buy ourselves some grain grist. Um, you can see much cheaper. Um, we can store it in the trailer for now. So easier to feed out as I rush through winter. Um, yeah, like 2,000 pounds for 5,000-ish litres. Pretty good, I think. Um, you can buy all sorts of things from here. So you can buy wheat, oats and barley from here. Uh, at a reduced price yeah it's it's about a 80 percent of the price that you would sell them for and also you can uh buy the doika feeds so i've added in the sell milk script because the cows are producing some milk and it sells at 6 a.m and we got three and a bit thousand pounds for that pretty good we did have a bit saved from before i added maze plus um so yeah uh, and we are now through the magic of editing into February. And we're going to do some slurry spreading on the grass. We've got quite a bit of slurry. Um, you can see I had added the pumps and hoses pack at this point, actually. But we're going to use this little Marshall tank. Um, 8,000 litres should do the job quite nicely. We're really close to the farm. We're going to go for the old decals because we're playing in olden times. Um, and 700 pounds to lease so we're probably going to hang on to this for a little bit because it's nice and cheap um, and one of the important things is I and mean, we don't have that many cows at the moment so it's less of an issue um, if you have a lot of cows and you are producing a lot of slurry and you fill your slurry store you will stop producing milk well that was the case a few versions of farm sim ago i assume it is still the case i have not checked um, but yeah, something to keep an eye on is if you've got if you've got cows and your slurry store is full and you stop producing milk, that might be a reason. Um, so you might want to expand your slurry storage or spread some. Um, yes, I know the tractor is a wreck, but we only have eight thousand pounds left, and there aren't any contracts at the moment, so um, we need to get to March so some contracts crop up so we can earn some money because we have bills to pay um if you are newer to the series we are paying our workers we have two workers available on the farm and we have to pay each of them five thousand pounds a month whether they are busy or not um and so through the winter i've been paying that out with them not really earning any money um, 
they are going to get busy once the contracting season kicks in um, so I have it set up so that we don't pay worker wages or course play wages we just pay their set fee every month because it seemed like a fun way of doing it so manual application rate obviously and we want to apply enough to push this up to good fertilization um, so I think we're going to go for plus 65 or maybe 70 I don't remember um, and we're just going to see how far we get with applying slurry to the field and bringing the nitrogen up on the grass hopefully that means we're going to get more grass this year than we did last year just had a little bit of a break there as I've said a few times I find it really hard to talk continuously for the nearly 30 minutes of video that we have and um, so bringing up the nitrogen level quite nicely but getting through the slurry really quickly um, and this is quite a big grass field I, uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough slurry to cover the whole field um, I do want to probably once we've got first cut off think about getting more cows um, with how we are for feed I'm kind of regretting selling the initial the 12 that we had in the other pen I think we would have been fine going through the winter um, yeah so I'm kind of regretting that a bit annoying I'm also pondering our planting plans because um, I'm finding that we're getting through the root crops really quickly still no contracts February probably shouldn't be yeah we're getting through the root crops fairly quickly over this video and the next one I have the next one recorded already and I'm certainly not going to sell any of the root crops one thing actually that I did do or forget to do is uh, sell the wheat last month in January when the price would have been at its best I was I do this so often and it's partly because I don't have the sell price trigger mod running which I would normally do scripts old laptop you've heard it all before um, but yeah so we're going to keep all of the potatoes all of the sugar beets and if we get to the point where we're getting maybe we do it through contracting in autumn next year there were loads of sugar beet and potato contracts last year maybe we have to do that this year or maybe yeah. if we can earn enough through contracts early enough then maybe we could buy a small field and plant some and we got the beets no the beets were off the big we had two two fields of root crops didn't we so yeah we probably need to look at buying a there are some small fields um the other side of the grass field maybe we need to have a look at buying one of those in spring and planting some root crops in there um like 11 and 12 that you can just see on the mini map yeah, i think those by the time we would get to doing that those have crops in but we could plow those in and uh, yeah definitely something that I am considering I think in terms of keeping the animals fed um yeah can't think of what else we could use for moisture food I can't remember off the top of my head I can probably think I you should know this and I probably should but I don't and actually what we can do because of the weird way that I'm recording this is I can open up the PDF as well while I'm chatting to you so we have been updating the PDF there are some different bits in there there's hopefully some things which make stuff a bit easier to understand we've tried to explain some things a bit more we could actually use some brewer's grain or some beet pulp so we might do that might look at buying some brewer's grain or some beet pulp if we run out of beets because we can buy that fairly cheaply Yeah, I think we might do that instead actually. Definitely, yeah. There's a 
probably the kind of things that you would buy in on a small farm like this. I know Cow Farmer Dan that I like watching on YouTube. They grow a lot of fodder beet themselves, but I think they grow most, they produce most of their own food, I think. Um, they even, I don't, I don't think they produce all their own straw, but they produce a bit of that as well. Um, yeah. But I think we could do that as an option. We'll, uh, we would need to add in the other buy point, but we can just stick that up around there as well. And yeah, we'll do that. We'll buy in beet pulp or brewer's grain if we need to. I can't remember how much. Beet pulp is really cheap. Brewer's grain, I'm not so sure. Um, on the next Attigan video, we're going to be making some beet pulp silage bales using the multi baler because um, that thing's really cool. But yeah, if you want to see a bit more of that in action, then catch the next Attigan video in a day or so's time. Now yeah, I, the next video on here, we are going to be doing a lot of contracting. A lot of feeding cows, a lot of contracting, because we've got one field left to plant, and that's going to be corn, so that's going to be April. Um, there's a bit more fertilising work we can do on the canola field. Um, it's been ploughed, so it's not going to need weeding, so that's not an issue but it is going to need fertilizing. Got about two loads of slurry left to go. And we're definitely not going to finish this field, so we are going to need to fertilize that some more, which is why I want to hang on to the slurry tank. It'd be nice if we could get the whole field fertilized before we mow it. And at the moment, we don't have any mowers, which is an issue. Um, but I'm hoping do we buy land and lease equipment, or do we buy equipment and stick with the three fields? Now, in theory, contracting should really kick off in spring. Um, particularly fertilising contracts, they are what's a good earner. Generally a good earner. Um, so yeah, you can see how much progress we've made across the field with our two loads less. And you can also see, because I'm running a fixed rate, the variation in the nitrogen within the slurry with precision farming in FS22, um, which I think is really cool. It does make for a very non-uniform looking field, which might trigger some people. Obviously, we don't have the tech to use any of the clever John Deere stuff that would normalize that for us and do, you know, kind of automate the application level. We are old school. And actually, something that I was really pleased about, um, I, I am watching VF's Attingham series. It's one of the few of his series that I'm watching because I enjoy Attingham. And uh, they did suggest him, because he's playing in the same sort of era, that he shouldn't be using, you know, GPS-based crop scanning and fertilizer application and stuff. And he's doing that as well, which is kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, if, if, if you want to see... Oh, screenshot time professional editing there taking it out uh, and the nice thing is that now ProShot doesn't conflict with maze plus that was fixed and so i can use this freely because it was a real pain trying to get thumbnails without pro shot available to me makes things much easier um yeah if you want to see something it's not really similar play style because we play very differently um, but yeah Go check his Attingham series out. It's it's okay. It's okay. Doesn't sound very very high praise, does it? Oh, well. um, I'm. I spoke about what what I watch on YouTube recently in a couple of videos, and I'm watching a lot less farm sim at the moment. Um, I really go through phases of what I enjoy watching, and at the moment, I'm enjoying watching a lot of geeky computer stuff. So yeah, um, less farming less um, farm sim and more geeky stuff because that's kind of what I am at heart yeah um, there was something there was another topic that I was going to flow into there but I have completely forgotten it so we won't worry about that um, we, we don't have enough to refill the tank so we might as well stop and go and refill it at this point um, from 
the mods point of view, I don't have any new mods planned at the moment. Um, so I tend to make them as ideas crop into my head of things that I would like that don't exist. I generally don't like making mods that other people have made. Um, just how my brain is, and if it's available I might as well just download it as long as it fits what I want. Um, and more and more that's becoming the case that there are mods available that I want. Um, and with the, the two Maze Plus ones that I've released, I had the advantage that I could make those whilst I was testing. Um, I'm assuming there will be a load of Maze Plus related mods coming soon, although Maze Plus is, you know, them being PC only and, re and Maze Plus only, they uh, they do not perform as well as the, uh, the console mods, but I didn't make them for that, I made them because I wanted them, and I wanted to be able to make hay pellets and beet pellets, I wanted to be able to ferment CCM in a silo if I wanted, um, and the pellet production is being updated so that you can make a few other things as well in it. it probably won't be called the pellet production anymore but I need to wait until next week to be able to submit an update to the mod because you have to wait two weeks between updates so and it's only been out a week which feels like a long week um, I think that's a lot because of how busy work was rather than other things I have a day off planned this week which is really nice. I had, did have two days off planned, but I actually need to go into the office on one of them, which is a bit annoying, but hey, not the end of the world. Um, yeah, got a day off today for you watching this. Um, we'll be out with Mrs. D in the morning. We're gonna go out and have breakfast and stuff. So yeah, should be quite nice. Assuming that both of us don't say the, the teenager has a really bad cold at the moment. It's not the one that begins with C. Um, and hopefully two of us don't pick it up off up. So, because that would scupper the plans, I think. Yeah, and I, I'm attempting this week, and it might not work. Um, so, one, uh, if you watched the Thursday stream last week, um, Paul sort of joked about the fact that we were closing for a week. The farming agency was taking the week off. Um, I think more, I think we are half slurry at this point. The intent with that is more that I think all of us need a break from Discord, social media, um, and providing support. I certainly backed off a bit last week. Um, there's only so many times you can answer the same questions without being, yeah. And for the people that ask them, it's probably the first time they've asked the question or thought of asking the question so you have to try and remember that and be nice when you're answering them but you know only so many times you can answer why can't I plant clover or why doesn't maze plus work with pumps and hoses or does it work with pumps and hoses yeah anyway like subscribe comment all that important stuff and I will see you next time on maple farm